the reality of every morning person going to work or school. Just wanted to give you guys a clear picture of what that looks like. Hola chicas, welcome back to my channel. Not starting up as my usual glam self, pero today we're gonna get ready for work or school, whatever it is that you are going to. I'm gonna do a really easy, quick routine that you guys can do in under maybe 10 minutes max. I did get a lot of affordable products as well, so you guys can go ahead and run to your local drugstore or Ulta to get them if any of these spark some interest in you that you can add to your everyday work or school makeup routine. So I really hope that you guys love this tutorial before we get started. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Valeria, and welcome to the Valeria's family. Feel free to subscribe down below and subscribe so you can go ahead and be notified when I make new uploads. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. First of all, we want to moisturize the face. I'm taking this e.l.f. Jolly Pop Water Gel Moisturizer. I used it, I've been using it for the past two days and I like it. I really like the smell of it. It smells like watermelon and cherries. Like it smells really nice and pretty. I feel like scented products will help you wake up in the mornings. At least that's how my mind works. After we have that, we're gonna go in with the 4 Beauty Remedy Serum. I like adding a little bit of skincare, always. You guys know that. I like to apply it right under my eyes because they're really refreshing. Moisturizes and just like really like awakes the eye area. I have been loving Loving for Thread Beauty, they're so great and so affordable. So you guys need to try them out. Also, I've been loving their oils, and I feel like it has been making such a big difference in my skin. Um, especially when I do my makeup, my skin looks like I just came out of my mom's womb. Like I look fresh AF. I'm taking the For Thread Beauty Rose Hip Oil, and I like to just dab a couple of drops onto my palm. And just like press that into the skin. If you are gonna be applying makeup, I wouldn't suggest applying too many oils because then if you're like oily skin or even dry skin, sometimes the makeup can like slip and slide and we don't want that. So just apply maybe like two to three drops just to really like moisturize the face. And then to lock all the skincare products and I'm gonna go in with my Garnier Skin Active Balancing Mist. This is the green tea one. I have a blue one that I love to do for like my nighttime routine, but this one I have in like my makeup room, the other one's in like my bathroom. It smells so good. Now that we are done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and take some lip balm. This is from Kapari. I've had this for over a year, guys, and it will not run out. Like, I don't understand how it's still product in here. Let's start with the face. Okay, I hope this foundation is not too dark for me. If a foundation, I am gonna go in with a glowing complexion enhancer from Milani. Oh, I just did it the wrong way. I have been using this for the past few days and it is so bomb. This is in the color Golden Glow. And what this is gonna do is just add some more radiance to your skin. If you're that person that doesn't like to apply too much highlight, it's gonna give you like that glow underneath of your makeup. Okay, ahora sí, we're ready for foundation. Taking the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. This foundation I chose it because I think I used it in my other like, oh Jesus, in my other uh, school makeup video last year. It has salicylic acid in it, which helps treat the skin while applying it. Like if you have acne or you guys have like a little bit of like breakout happening, I usually get them like before my period. If you're hormonal, this foundation is way too light for me, okay? Actually, it's not. So my forehead gets super, super dark. Um, So it has salicylic acid, as I was saying. It treats your skin while wearing it. So that's like super like plus. And it's foundation that I have found that it's great to wear like for long periods of time. Usually you have like a five, seven hour school day or work day. So this foundation is great for that and it's also super super affordable okay here we have a concealer from covergirl it is a sand beige 700 it looks a little dark Ooh, it is not too dark we're not gonna go crazy with concealer but i feel like this is a must because not only is it gonna brighten your look it's gonna give you more of like a highlighted face like a more awake face and i actually put a little bit more effort to your makeup and they may be like wow what time did she wake up this morning like Three o'clock, wow, need to be here. So we're gonna blend that concealer all the way through, making sure we blend it down with our foundation and also over your eyelids so you have a, a base just in case you wanna do eyeshadow. So before I do my eyebrows, I'm gonna go in with setting powder. I just got this in PR. I've always wanted to try it. the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals Translucent Powder in the shade 50. Uh, we're gonna be baking our face with this. Again, first time using it, I hope it's not too dark, but I feel like we have to bake at all times. Ooh, this powder is cute. Talk about pigmented. I'm gonna take a little more and I'm gonna stamp that on the sides of my nose. And we're gonna let that nose bake while I finish up the rest of the eyes and all that good stuff. Well, I'm honestly super surprised at how like intense this powder came in. I hope it doesn't like oxidize either. So I'm gonna leave it right in those areas and then I'm gonna 
tap a little bit on my forehead and my eyebrows. This is from CoverGirl, a clear brow gel. You guys know how much I love my Sigma one, but I'm, let it, I'm letting it take a rest for today. I'm also gonna go ahead and flick up the hairs like upward to give it more of like a boyish, like feathered brow, like not so perfect, you know? And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm gonna do a little bit of shadow work. This is only just like an extra step if you have time and if you totally want to. This is a BH Cosmetics Run Wild palette they did with like somebody else that they collab. It, it's actually pretty cool. It comes with it comes with eyeshadows, highlighters, and blushes and a bronzer. So I'm gonna be using this pretty much all over my face today. So for eyeshadow, I'm not gonna do a crazy color, but I like the color Dusk right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that with a fluffy brush, nothing too big, like something really like delicate. This is a Morphe E27. And I'm just going to lightly run that all over the crease. But like you guys see how I just like already gave me some pigment like that's literally about it so literally i am dipping a brush into the eyeshadow and like going like this onto a towel that i have on the table i'm gonna go with the color no limit it is a matte cool tone brown color right here i feel like any bronzer or matte brown eyeshadow works great for this technique i'm taking a luxie 246 precision crease brush i really have been liking these like um luxie brushes but I'm gonna just I'm just gonna run this on my lower lash line as if it was like eyeliner. It's just gonna give me a little bit of depth. Something cute, something delicate like that. Now to make it a little bit extra and like give it more definition to the lash line, I'm gonna go in with this NYX liner. This is the Epic Ink liner. I really have been liking this because I have been loving my I'm like so soft up. My Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner. So this one's exactly its dupe. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna create a really fine line from inner corner to outer corner the fancy, no wing, just lining that lash line, but with the brown and the black, it's gonna give a lot more dimension to the eyes and it's gonna let your mascara and your lashes look a lot more fuller. Now we're gonna go with mascara again, another NYX product. This is the Under Eyes Mascara. Now with this, you might want to take your time because we're gonna coat these babies up. For bronzer, I'm taking maybe the City Bronzer in the shade 300. I think this is like the darkest shade they have. Ugh. I should have grabbed the other one, but in the packaging, it's almost really misleading. So I have to go with a light hand with this, but I do want to have to get the other color. Oh no 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 no! I did this before. Yeah, don't do your bronzer before wiping off your loose powder because then that will happen. Wow, loose powder is like intense. Wow, it really brightens up the complexion. So you don't even have to go with like a really bright concealer. The powder will literally do the job for you. You guys see how much it came off? It's just a lot of bronzer. I'm gonna take a little bit of that powder and bake underneath, like just like in the inner part, like that. We're gonna go with blush now, taking the BH blush palette. I'm gonna be mixing these two shades right here. You guys sound like more of a coral kind of flushed cheek situation. Something cute, something not too much. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off this again. Just wanted to clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of that brush with no extra like product. And I'm gonna run it in the sides of my nose to give me a little bit of a contour. You can go ahead and apply um, eyeshadow to your lower lashes, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go in with more mascara. Or you don't have to apply mascara, but I feel like for this look I'm going to. Not a lot though, just a little bit. For highlighter, I have such an exciting product. Actually, I kinda wanna set my face first before I do that. So again, again, the garden, yeah, I'm just gonna do sides on my face. I know you guys are sick and tired of me using this liner, but I just cannot stop using it. This is the LA Girl Sugar and Spice Lip Liner. I'm gonna keep using it until everybody that watches me owns this lip liner because it is amazing. So my face dries, I'm gonna go ahead and go with lip liner. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple options for lip. Being in a school day, you don't wanna put too much, but I feel like lip liner is a good way because you can take your finger and kind of like rub it in and it creates like a really nice natural finish that's not gonna move around, it's not gonna be sticky or anything, or anything like that. You can go with some chapstick, some lip gloss, and make it look super cute. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you can do that. So I'm taking the e.l.f. Cosmetics Jelly Pop Juicy Gloss. If you want a little bit more of a moisture to your lips, I'm gonna apply a little bit to my finger. I'm just gonna run it like in the center, like that. So it gives a little bit more moisture to your lips and you kind of make your own like lipstick because literally that's what it is. I feel like it looks like exactly the same and then it's just lip liner. So it's a good one thing that you could do or you could go in with actual lipstick. I'm taking the Rimmel London Snatched shade right here. If you're more of a lipstick girl, you maybe like a little bit more color. And you can go with your finger and kind of like dab off the excess. That's my least, if you're the highlighter girl, you're gonna go with some highlight. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Highlighter. 
guys it's just really 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 pigmented so for this i'm like go like at your discretion but i'm not gonna put too much just a little bit on the highest point and it's a little bit more like glittery so you might want to have like a light hand like that's it i'm not gonna oh my god it's so beautiful i'm not gonna do too much like that just like that i'm gonna probably take this lip off because it's like a little bit too strong so this is what it look pretty much looks like finished for the more like natural like girl quick out the door i'm sure you guys can do this in like literally 10 minutes but i am gonna add the option of lashes if it's a special day at school or work and you want to do something a little bit more if you have like a presentation you can always go with some lashes i'm gonna go with these from kiss lashes these are the kiss couture lashes they are so pretty and so comfortable to wear i feel like i really like them for that reason and i also like them because they are synthetic which means that you don't have to worry about it, like any like little like mink hairs falling off they were really great with sunglasses so if you have like um if, if you do wear like prescription glasses i think this will be really comfortable for you to wear they're not too long to where they're gonna like clash against like your lens like look at the difference that a lash can make it can make your look look like 10 times extra all right guys as you can see i went ahead and did my hair i pretty much just i hope you guys can hear the feather storms but i pretty much just straightened all of my hair so it's looking nice shiny and glossy this is pretty much like what i love to do when i'm in a rush i like to straighten my hair that was just like all looking nice and you know polished and i feel like it's a lot quicker as well than just having to curl your entire hair my extensions are coming out need to get it retouched asap so don't mind her how cute would i look though if i actually had to wear glasses for a living like mm -hmm. this is from room 21 they're maybe like four dollars so as you can see like the lashes like don't clash because they're like the perfect size if you want more of a clear view well this is really bothering me if you want a little bit more of a clear view with your makeup no worries here is a pair that is completely see-through also from Rule 21. Miren que linda. This is more like polish. You can still see the entire eye look and the lashes don't clash, which is such a big deal for me because nothing is more annoying to me than wearing sunglasses and I can't even wear them because my my lashes. So I'd rather like, you know, go blind with the sun than with protection. Well, this is it for my work and school affordable makeup look for you guys. I hope that you guys loved it. I hope that you can add some of these steps or products into your daily routine. I would love to know if you guys do get these. You can always talk to me on Instagram at Beauty. DM me, comment, anything just to get a hold of me. Or of course, leave me down a comment down below in the description box. As always, I will have all the products that I use and mention listed below along with the links and, the and discount codes. I'm so excited to be getting into the fall now. Fall videos are my favorite to do. Like this is like the most favorite categories. So start leaving me some ideas for those as well. And yeah, guys, that was it for this video. I really hope that you guys loved and enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. Mucho besitos. Mm -hmm. Y abrazos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.